Okay, so it took me like two days, but I finally found a way to run Stable Diffusion on Windows on AMD cards. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to this GitHub link, um, and then you'll want to go to this AMD link, uh, and this is for a special driver that um, allows this to work. This will not work unless you do this. Um, they may, you know, update this in the future where you don't need to have a special driver to do this. But as of right now, as of uh, January 2023, this is what you need to do. Um, so then you'll want to click on this link right here, download the driver, um, install it, run it, uh, and then you'll have to reboot your computer. But then you'll have the special AMD drivers. Um, these are all the uh, AMD GPUs that it's compatible with. It seems like they pretty much list like all of them. So if you have an AMD GPU, it probably works with this. Uh, so let's see. After you do that, then you want to go down here back to the GitHub page. And then there's a link here that says download the latest Windows Shark SD binary. Download that. Put that. A file in its own folder you know call it stable diffusion or whatever you want to call it and then uh, once you have that in a folder see I got mine right here so what you want to do is you want to click this empty space in your Windows Explorer uh, bar and then type CMD press enter and then it'll bring a uh, command prompt up and then from here you type shark and then press tab and it'll auto complete um, and then you just press enter and then it looks like this so it the first time it runs it'll take quite a while it's got to download like five gigabytes of model data um, and every time you boot up the shark exe it'll take a while because it has to load the model not quite as long as when you had to download the model but um, the first time you click generate image, it'll take a while to load the model. So um, every subsequent generation after the model is loaded will take uh, significantly less time. Um, and if you want shorter, if you want it to generate uh, images in a shorter amount of time, you can lower the steps. Um, for me, I have a 6800, so it's a pretty powerful GPU, um, and 50 steps takes like 60 seconds or something like that. Um, if you have a AMD GPU that doesn't have like a whole lot of VRAM, I think you can still run this. You just need to, you need to run it. Let me check. Okay, so in the, what is this? The nod.ai uh, Discord, which is, these are the guys that made the shark uh, binary. Um, he says, if you run out of device memory, you can try adding this to the end of the command prompt command. So you would go into shark and then you would open up the CMD like I showed you earlier type in shark tab and then after that you'd want to enter um, these parameters like that so then you would run it like that if you're getting the out of memory area error um, so yeah after that it should work I can uh, generate an image right here uh, just a quick rundown the steps the higher the steps the higher quality but it takes longer uh, the CFG scale, the higher the scale, the more accurate it is to your prompt. But the lower the scale, the higher quality the image is in the end. Uh, the seed is like, it's like a random number that the image is based off of. Uh, if you have it set to negative one, which is the default, it, it makes a random seed every time. But if you want the same image every time you generate you put in a set number it can be any number from one to basically infinity so yeah 50 steps it should take me about 60 seconds so oh you know what? i think it was taking uh, longer because 
if you accidentally drag your mouse in here like this and you have any selected text it will pause and it will pause the generation of the image this this will keep running forever if if you do that so make sure in the cmd window you click and then you press enter and then it'll make you got to make sure that this is running and uh, this usually blinks but you got to make sure that this is actually moving so that's pretty much it i think i went i think i showed you everything i wanted to uh, you can select the device right here uh, yeah that's pretty much it if you have any questions you can join the discord you can join uh, the nod.ai discord that's actually a pretty cool image i like that uh, but uh, yeah thanks for watching